I was a very good child. <laughs> Seeing I was going to become a nun. I was going to until she caned me and I was all marked and my father had to take me up to Archbishop Dewick. Well, I was three when we left Hewenden. Then we went to Charters Towers where my brother was born. And then we came to Brisbane. And we lived in Arthur Street, Tenerife until I was nine years old in a half a house belonging to my great aunt. Well, I went back to school and the nun said, are you sick? I said, yes. My father said, you don't get sick. Oh, you're all yellow. I'll take you home to your mother. So I had yellow jaundice. I was in hospital for the best part of four months. I came home, they thought they'd take us to the beach for the weekend. And then I got diphtheria and everybody had to be immunised and I was back in hospital. <laughs> then my mother became very ill. And the thing, I was the eldest at 13. Had to get permission from the education department to mind the family because we had no family here. So I never went back to school then. I just got a job. When I started work at what you call Parsons Rolled Oats, I worked in the factory. But the boss said, you're quite smart. Do you want to work in the office and do all the stock work? From there I progressed. And so I worked for that one company all my life. It was sold by and bought by many. Eventually Cadbury swept owned it when I took a redundancy and went after 40 years. I've had to do my own thing and being the eldest in the family and go to work early. And, and then when I got divorced, I also had a job at night. I worked in a fish and chip shop six nights a week. I was there for 17 years when I retired at 71. I was just driving home this way one day and I thought, oh, what's happened to the old caravan park? So I hummed and hard and hummed and hard and thought I'd come here. And we all got together and started making friends and everything. I went to yoga for 25 years. I played golf. I walk every morning with the 81-year-old round the road here. <laughs>